Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we are going to taste a Huber's product, a, uh, a Starlight Old Rick House Double Oaked Rye Whiskey. We were out at uh, uh, Huber's the other day getting some fresh strawberries. Mm -hmm. And I uh, saw this there and I had to pick up a bottle of it because I don't think we've had this yet. Right. And it turned out to be a really good one. Yeah, we tried it a couple days ago and really liked it. Yeah. And Considering to this, it won the Ascot Award and as a, a craft distiller of the year, Huber's did. Oh, awesome. <clears throat> I love that. Story. I love that place. Huber's is always a great place to go to. Yeah. yeah, fun. So this is a rye whiskey that was finished in a second oak barrel and bottled at 106 proof at four and a half years old. All right. What was the proof on it? I'm sorry. 106. 106, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, so Huber's has been around for a long time. It's kind of like a Southern Indiana, Louisville kind of staple, like nice place to go to get pumpkins or like Christmas trees and stuff like that. And then strawberries, strawberries, peaches, all the, yeah, all the fresh fruit, <clears throat> fresh vegetables. They got a great restaurant too. Yeah. And they had a winery, they've had a winery for quite a while. Right. And then Starlight came around, what, four or five years ago? Oh, it's been about longer than that, about six, seven years ago. Okay. They started uh, uh, distilling. Made whiskey. it even better. Actually, about eight years ago, they started distilling brandy. They did brandy first. They actually have two distilleries there. They have a brandy distillery, and then they built a uh, whiskey distillery. Mm hmm And they make both. Yeah, made a great place even better. Yeah. yeah. Now, one of the days we'll have to do a tasting of their brandies, their apple brandies. And their yeah, that stuff's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, their apple brandy's really good. Yeah, yeah and their peach brandy and their pear brandy. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, yeah. All of it's delicious. Yes. And this stuff we thought might be a contender for Whiskey of the Month so far. Yeah, so yeah. far. It's got, matter of fact, uh, we've got three of them picked out for Whiskey yeah. of the Month. Uh, wh whatever doesn't make it this month, we'll probably, one of them will probably make it next month. Yeah. Mm, nice. Oh, yeah, very nice nose. Mm -hmm. Rye, caramel, <clears throat> oak, Yeah. classic stuff. Um, is that spice? Is it all spice? Yeah, there's a allspice, a uh, little bit of caramel, a little bit of, I don't know, I'd say maybe apricots, mm -hmm. peaches, something like that. It's got a great nose. Really does. Yeah, that rye grass. Mm. So let's taste it. Definitely apricot. Yeah, I'd go with apricot. <clears throat> Some nice allspice. Maybe a little cardamom. Yeah, even a little hint of like lemon, maybe yeah. for me. Well, that could be. It could be cardamom. Yeah. yeah. Cardamom has that citrusy note to it. Yeah. Nice strong oaky finish, mm -hmm. and that spice kind of lingers. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the finish just lasts. Mm-hmm. I'm still getting really nice sweet caramel. Sweet caramel and oak and almost a butterscotch on the finish. Yeah. Oh that's yeah. Like a Werther's original. <laughs> yeah. Great, great whiskey. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Yeah. Alright. So let's try it for cranberry. Let's see what it does. Oh, it really brings out the spice. Brings out the spice, and, and that, now it's giving me a little bit of apple. Mm -hmm. um, tart apple. Mm -hmm. A little caramel tart apple. Yeah, that cardamom and allspice just mm -hmm. kind of working. Um, yeah. People often ask why we taste it with 
cranberries and pecans. Well, the, the cranberries is concentrated sugars. You know, when you dry fruit, it concentrates the sugars. We want to see what that extra sugar does to the taste of the whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting yeah. <clears throat> how that works. Sometimes it really heightens the fruit. Sometimes it completely cuts it out. You right. know? Yeah. It's, it always changes. It, somehow. it really does. Yeah. It's, it's so interesting. Sometimes for better. Sometimes for not so great. Yeah. <laughs> but it definitely it gives you an idea of what you're going to uh, use it in in a cocktail or whatever, you know. This would go very well with a sweet cocktail like an old fashioned or something. Mm -hmm. You know, the the sugars of an old fashioned would probably bring out the spices in the whiskey and Yeah. Hell, we might have to try it with one. Yeah. Soon. Yeah, yeah. Getting to be summertime, time for some cocktails. Which is like a good paper plate. Oh man. Yeah. So let's try it with a pecan. We use a pecan because of the tannins. You know, we want to see what that extra tannin. Oh, that brings out some milk chocolate. Mm hmm. Milk chocolate and then ripe apple for me. Right. Nice, rich, and the like spice mouthfeel. becomes more of a cinnamon. Mm-hmm. It's very viscous now. Mm -hmm. It's chewy. Mm-hmm. Fits very well. With Less with spicy it. for me, but that yeah. the oak is really yeah more oak yeah a lot of oak. <clears throat> but there is still that cinnamon spice. Mm-hmm. I mean, that cinnamon is kind of lingering on the finish. Yeah, very good stuff. Take a sip and try it with a piece of chocolate. And we use this dark chocolate Hershey Kisses because that's what we did in New Orleans one time and everybody liked it. Everybody so loved we thought it. we would add it to our videos. <laughs> and the chocolate has a combination of sugars and tannins. Mm hmm We did it again this year and I think kind of the same thing. Everybody really loved the, mm -hmm. the chocolate. Kind of best of both worlds. You're getting some of that chocolate, you know, could be from the dark chocolate, but it's really more of a milk chocolate in the taste. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You're getting that apple. Mm -hmm. Nice and rich. A little rich. bit of cin uh, cinnamon spice and a little bit of a, the cardamom's come back. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of cinnamon, maybe a hint of nutmeg. Yeah. Yeah. This, it's, yeah, it's made it nice and spicy. Yeah. Um, the finish is nice. Yeah. It, I really liked it with, with everything, really. Yeah. This one really holds up with everything. Yeah, this so. is just a really great whiskey. Yeah. You know, Ted Huber does a great job out there. He does, yeah. I don't know if there's anything I've had that I don't like, you know? Right. Or, like, just thought was very mediocre. Even the stuff that's <clears throat> not as good is still really good stuff, you right. know? Like, um, but... I always think his ryes are really exceptional. Yeah, he has, makes exceptional ryes. Yeah. I think his bourbons are pretty good. They are, yeah, definitely. So, so Ted Huber. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Great job. Great job. <laughs>